Looks like the beach is taking some sand in. Be all gone pretty soon. We'll work down the other end. Beautiful day out. A little chilly, but you can't beat it in New England. Usually it's snowing and cold. Came up high. Back it out. Right there. 25. Silver dime. Silver dime. Hey. Rosie. Ah. Hey, told <laughs> Rosie. Silver ring. Oh, really? Yep. Yep, silver ring. Oh, yeah. No, it's like it's been down there. Yeah. Came up, that came up like really high. It's high pitched. That's a tiny one, huh? Yeah. It's a little finger. Cool. I'm looking for, if I go over a signal I, and I get just a chirp, I dig it, flip the rock, see if it comes in higher. See if it cleans up, yep. yeah. And um, silver ring. I was only kidding about the rookie thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Little pyramid. Gray. Twenty six. I think that's clad. Yep, clad dime. Twenty one. Sounds like a penny. Huh. Corroded. Huh. It's like a penny, but I don't know. You're killing me. Oh, look at that one! Look at that signet! Wow! <laughs> it's all it's all black sand. Holy I saw it. I saw beauty. it. I saw it a week ago. I should have oh, took a couple days off, but that's a that's a, that's one of those faux nugget rings. Yeah, with a signet. Yeah. It's got somebody's yeah name, I think, yeah. or initial there. Yeah, if you look at the side of the band, it's like faux nugget kind of. Oh yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That is cool. No Probably kid, a date man. on the. Twenty two. Tony Eisenhower Space Pods. I'm flipping back between one and two here. If it gets chattery, I go over to two. If it gets clean, I go back to one. I'm gonna stay on one, see what happens. Comes up with 28, 30. Ah, shit! Don't tell me. Oh, that was my big ring for today. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Rats.
come back on a minus tide I get that extra two feet of water out of here getting a few signals but I can't get to them I took on water in my boots got the gold out of here though I was flipping back and forth between beach one and two on this you get faults faulting on the coil from the seawater just switch over to beach one you can also try reducing sensitivity make the machine run a little bit smoother they come up they sound so damn good let me throw one down here comes up as 20 they sound so good but they're loaded some of these areas are loaded with them <sighs> lead weight all right turned out to be a good day actually st patty's day caught the leprechaun and all today gonna head back might hit another beach on the way back there's a sailboat way out there shoals we're gonna try that this summer isles of shoals we're gonna have some fun out there all right these cuts have uh, moved down low one over there trying to form it just offshore there was some down in wall of sands area but you couldn't get to them eight feet of water minus tides coming up might be worth a try it's one forming right here you see all the little rocks Worth to come back on minus tide, see if anything's in there. Look at this, look how it's changed. Look at that big layer of sand right in the middle. This was all rocks only six months ago. That's what happens, and you got to catch it. But we got some good stuff, so on to the next beach. Wrap up video. Pretty good Sunday hunt. Um, got down there and looked at the came out of the main beach at Northampton and it's sanding in. Unfortunately, that beach is probably going to be sanded in fairly shortly. There's a little layer up around the high tide mark that's still detectable, but uh, most of the wet sand area is kind of bled sand over. So um, I think that beach is probably going to be gone soon. So the action shifted to the far southern end. Um, got a quarter, two clad dimes, and three pennies, no Wheaties. Got a couple of old pyramid sinkers, and these are, you can see the top is corroded off of this one, so that's been there a while. Got this smaller one. Um, got a 1950 silver Roosevelt dime, and I got a corroded small sterling silver band. Haven't been finding many silver rings. It's getting tougher and tougher. Um, used to find a lot back in the day. Uh, got this big nut, and that sounded good. That sounded like a silver half when I found it. I thought for sure it had a big silver and kind of a downer. Uh, got a Mr. Champ lure. It says Mr. Champ on there. It's a little fishing lure. Some assorted junk. Um, try to take some off. Uh, good find, best find of the day. Got this nice gold ring. It's an antique signet, and it looks like it has a flower design on the sides. It's definitely a woman's ring, and it looks like a flower on the side of there. A really beautiful ring. Old. It's got an old hallmark in there. Definitely gold. I'd probably say 10 or 14. I gotta look it over a little bit. The band on the back has kind of separated you can see the little crack there right where my fingernail is it's cracked out and that's usually what happens salt water hits the solder joints and they separate out and this one's in the process of separating but good find uh saw that we were we were hitting some gold in that area and i follow the cut out a lot of people make the mistake and i've learned from my mistakes uh i remember back maybe 10 years ago similar situation on another beach uh, main middle part of the beach was uh, given a lot of gold rings and uh, almost didn't I followed it down to the low tide mark I got a Marquise diamond ring in a beautiful setting 
but uh, should have should have followed it out into the water. And this one, you could actually follow it out into the water, and it produced um, some more gold. So, got to kind of follow through when you're hunting these things. That's what I've learned over the years. I uh, didn't have my mine lab Excalibur at the time, or I probably would have cleaned house on that other beach when it was doing well back 10 years ago. Got this little half of a musket ball, it looks like. Maybe a... Looks like it's sawed in half. Looks like a musket ball. Don't know what that went to. But that was pretty it. Pretty much it. And uh, got my finds, so I'm going to add this ring over here. Not great, but uh, got some stuff so far this year. Got the gold teeth. Got a really tiny band um, with some old writing on there. That This is an, a very old ring, I believe. I was talking to somebody about this. And uh, this, this ring is probably older than a lot of people would imagine, I would say. And I'm not saying it's 1700s, but uh, this is a very old ring. Um... This ring, 14 karat Dason ring, I got that end of last year. Uh, did my wrap up in early December, so these are some of the finds. Got this early in the year, this diamond ring. And that came out of the main beach at Northampton. Um, doing good on the silvers, I'm up to about 30, my oldest being the seated. Um, I got the seated out of there, so got some halves, got one half and some quarters. Uh, did get one barber, so we'll add that over here. We're going to add the rosy over here. Did get one barber dime, and that's in there somewhere. So I'm going to put this in there. So we got a few rings going. Put the silver in. So it's going to be tough this year, though. We're going to have to work at it and improvise with some diving here somehow or do something, make, make it pick up a little. Beach is just... They, they look good. A lot of the cuts have moved low on the beaches. Uh, probably minus tide would be a good bet. That's coming up this week, so I'd focus on the low areas. Um, but that's my own judgment. So, But pretty good hunt. Enjoyed it. So, going to go back. We'll see what happens. Hang in there. Thanks for watching.